New York City's Airbnb crackdown. Starting September 5th, New York City officials are going to begin enforcing rules on short-term rental stays more aggressively. Hosts of short-term rentals are going to be required to register with the city and meet certain requirements. Hosts must have a Class B status to provide short-term rental stays. New rules include restricting a host from renting out an entire apartment or home. They also must be present during guest short-term stays. Airbnb is blocking future dates for bookings and hosts are removing listings. There are 38,500 Airbnb listings in New York City. Starting September 5th, the city will know which hosts have registered and which have not, and they will likely impose penalties and fines. Dallas, Philadelphia, and New Orleans have uh, passed restrictions on short-term rentals. Short-term rentals are generally uh, cheaper than hotels. Less than half of Airbnb's New York City listings are in Manhattan. In fact, 37% of them are in Brooklyn, an area that has less hotel options. At the end of the day, we're talking about private property. Many hosts rely on the extra income to pay their mortgages or their rent and to continue to live in their homes or apartments. Some hosts rent out their homes when they are traveling for work. Many visitors are families who can't afford to pay for multiple hotel rooms. Cities blame Airbnb for the lack of affordable housing. However, I would argue this is the result of restrictive zoning. Overly restrictive and complex regulations by local governments is burdensome and causes abnormalities in the market. Consider how expensive it is to do construction and to develop residential projects in the city. Both Airbnb and hosts are saying that the New York City rules make it nearly impossible to register for Class B status, which is required to do short-term rentals. The city is facing a staffing shortage as well. City bureaucracy is infamously slow, but now it is all but grinding to a halt. As of July 25th, the city received 1,632 host registrations, yet only 141 have been approved, according to Airbnb. Even legal Airbnbs have little chance of being approved by the city in a timely manner. The city is not actually interested in regulating the short-term rental market. They want to make it virtually impossible for them to operate altogether. I believe this is a misguided effort by the city to increase affordable housing at the expense of visitors. However, I do not see the city addressing rent controlled apartments. Instead, they are shifting the blame and targeting short term rentals. This could also be a play by the city to increase hotel occupancy rates. At the end of the day, you have to follow the money. The city hotels are furious at Airbnb. The city has lost a lot of hotel tax revenue. If you look at like San Francisco, you're seeing hotels missing mortgage payments. In addition, you have unions associated with hotels and hospitality that are lobbying the city government to target and crack down on Airbnb. Also consider how Mayor Eric Adams has signed contracts for hundreds of millions of dollars to house migrants in hotels. This appears to be just another way New York City is trying to appease the hotel industry and cater to them and drive business to them. Rent prices are through the roof in New York City. This law will not make much of a dent in these prices at all. The affordability crisis is caused by a lack of supply that results from strict zoning and bureaucratic regulations imposed on the construction industry. The city should be doing everything it can to encourage developers to build as many apartments as possible. Instead, they are attacking the demand for housing rather than adding to the supply and letting the market reach equilibrium. This is really about politicians blaming the private sector for their incompetence. It is virtually impossible for people to own their homes or apartments in New York City. To add insult to injury, now the city is telling renters what they can and can't do with their apartments. You could shut Airbnb out of the entirety of New York City and push all the visitors into hotels, and New York City would still be the most expensive city to rent in the entire world. You can always count on New York City to put its finger on the scale whenever big, well-connected business interests are at risk and threatened by entrepreneurs, innovation, and startups.